Welcome to HoneyBook. As a venue, we know you have specific needs from a platform like HoneyBook. In this video, we'll go through some of the most important and most used elements of HoneyBook to make sure that your venue can hit the ground running. First, we'll review account setup, such as setting up your branding, inviting your team members, importing your client list, and adding your bank account. Then, we'll review some of the top tools that are available to you in HoneyBook, like contract and pricing templates, how to send our all-in-one booking file, the proposal, our calendar tool for event scheduling and availability, and our contact form to enable the automatic collection of inquiries. Getting started with HoneyBook is easy. Before you do anything else, remember that HoneyBook offers a one-time, complimentary account building service. You can upload existing materials like pricing and packages, contracts, or questionnaires, and our team will set them up for you as templates in your account. Just head to honeybook.com slash app slash account underscore setup for a little help getting going. Now, let's upload your brand assets like images, logos, and colors to make your account and everything you send from it feel like a cohesive part of your business. To upload your branding, click your profile photo in HoneyBook and select Company Settings. Scroll down to the Branding section. Here, you can upload different versions of your logo, like your full logo, which will appear in the headers of the emails that you send, and your standard logo, which will be visible in the headers of any files that you send. Now, click the button to adjust your main brand color. You can also add images to your file library from here. Photos you upload might be used for your file headers, item details, and more. If you have colleagues, assistants, or any other team members that need to be in the loop with your projects, you can invite them to your HoneyBook account to collaborate. To invite a team member to HoneyBook, click your profile photo and select Company Settings. Click the Team tab and click Invite. Enter your colleagues' contact info and their role, which will determine the permissions this team member will have within your account. For example, Basic permissions will allow them to have control over their own projects and files, but wouldn't allow them to view other team members' files or access reports the way an admin could. Once you've invited your team, they can send files, join workspaces, be assigned projects, receive inquiries, and more. If you've been in business for a while, you probably already have a list of clients that you want to keep track of. In HoneyBook, you can add these contacts in the process of creating a new project or head to your Contacts tab where you can add contacts individually to your list by clicking Add New Contact or add them all at once using a CSV import. Make sure to download our CSV template and format your contact list appropriately to ensure the upload is successful. Now, you can always access and update your full client list via your Contacts tab. Finally, when you're setting up your account, make sure to add your business's bank account information. Adding this right away allows you to start collecting payments immediately and right through HoneyBook, which streamlines the process for both you and your clients. To add your bank account, you can just head back to your company settings and select Bank Details. Now that your account is set up, let's take a look at some of the features you have at your disposal. Templates are one of the great efficiencies that HoneyBook has to offer. From files to emails to pricing, we allow you to save your commonly used materials and easily insert them into future projects with just a few clicks. To start creating templates, click the Tools menu in your top navigation bar, then Templates. Select which type of template you want to create, then open your file drawer by clicking the tab on the left. For all your templates, this is where you'll be able to access existing templates and where you can create new ones. Packages and contract templates will be particularly helpful. Creating a package template will allow you to save items or groups of items commonly sold together so you can add them to files with one click rather than needing to input and price items manually each time. And if you have contract language that you use regularly, you can save that as a template as well. You can even insert contract fields, which can either pull information from individual projects when the contract is sent, 
or require your client to fill out information before they're allowed to sign. Now, you'll probably want to start booking. HoneyBook's all-in-one file, the proposal, makes sure you can get a contract signed, a payment schedule agreed to, and a deposit collected in one fell swoop. To send a proposal, you'll need to start with a project. You can navigate to an existing project, or create a new one by clicking the New button, then New Project. In this tutorial, we'll just start with a new project. Enter the project title and type, and fill in any other details that you have. Click Next. Then you'll be prompted to add a participant to the project. The participant is the contact who receives all the files and other communication you send through HoneyBook, so this will likely be your client. Creating a proposal is just like creating any other file. From within a project, click New File and select Proposal. You can select a template that you've already created to work off of, or start from scratch. Either way, you'll be able to customize the packages and pricing, set up your payment schedule to collect a deposit and all future payments, and put your contract together. Your client will receive a beautifully designed file right to their email, enabling them to complete the booking process in just a few minutes. The calendar tool is particularly important for venues, allowing you a visual representation of when all your events are happening. You can even integrate with your Google Calendar or Calendly account for full visibility into schedules. To find your calendar, click Tools, then Calendar. By default, you'll be able to see everything that's going on in your HoneyBook account, like booked projects, tentative projects, your team's projects, and upcoming payments. You can choose to toggle any of these on or off. Clicking an event will give you more details and allow you to pop right over to the payment or project. You'll also be able to add and manage various event locations within your venue with our Spaces feature. So if your venue can host separate events in a ballroom and a backyard, you can add each as a space. Then, when you're creating your projects, you can choose which space the event will be using and track that appropriately on your calendar. Finally, to take full advantage of the power of automation, you can customize and embed HoneyBook's contact form on your website. The contact form is built to capture leads and can be installed directly onto your site. By installing HoneyBook's contact form, all information will be funneled directly into your HoneyBook account and incoming requests will automatically populate as inquiries in your project pipeline. To make sure your contact form fits your business needs, you can customize it however you'd like. To create your contact form, click the Tools menu, then Contact Form. You can work off of the default form we provide if you'd like, or create your own by clicking the tab on the left side of the screen to open your file drawer and selecting Add Contact Form. Then you can customize the questions or head to the Preferences tab where you can customize the style and select which team member should be assigned to the incoming inquiries. When you're ready, you can just grab the code and embed it into your website. You can even take the contact forms a step further and connect them to certain workflows within HoneyBook. Workflows allow you to automate tasks in your project's lifecycle, allowing the HoneyBook platform to automatically send out emails, brochures, or questionnaires based on particular events that occur. As soon as an inquiry comes in, for example, your workflow can send an email response or a file, getting the ball rolling with no extra work required from you at all. You can even create different workflows for different event types, making sure that those birthday party requests and wedding inquiries get individualized responses. Hopefully, now you feel ready to dive headfirst into HoneyBook. That's all we have for now, but be sure to check out help.honeybook.com for more in-depth insights into all of our features, or reach out to our concierge team with any questions. Thanks for trying HoneyBook. We're excited to have you.